Hi, this is Pete from FMI Enterprises. I'm an auto dealer here in Southern California. Today I have for you a 2000 Porsche Boxster S with only 48,000 original miles. Has an automatic transmission with Tiptronic shifting on the steering wheel. Has aftermarket uh, stereo system with uh, factory Porsche equalizer, speaker box in the rear, factory speaker box it is. Um, it's got Bluetooth, uh, it's got Bluetooth audio with streaming, a couple nice features there. Um, paint looks excellent all around. It's got a uh, very uh, nice set of uh, Nitto tires on it all the way around. Nitto um, Extreme tires, ZR rated, 18 inch wheels. They are in excellent shape, probably about 80% tread remaining. Um, car looks great all around. Top is in excellent shape. Looks like a, a top was recently recently replaced. Of course, it's a 21-year-old car now, so things like that at this point should have been replaced by now on most cars. Um, it's got a rear glass window, which is a nice upgrade from the plastic rear window, which gets inevitably foggy after a couple years so um, and then they all crack too so nice glass uh, upgrade uh, very nice looking car as you can see the paint is in great shape all the way around front bumper looks excellent the grills down below are clean underneath the uh, the nose very clean see the headlights look excellent nice and clear they don't need to be polished, no cracks, nice and clean. The Porsche emblem looks excellent, nice and shiny gold. Um, the hood looks excellent. There's really no, no nicks in the hood or the front bumper. It's, it's super clean. The right front fender looks excellent. Gas door is clean. Light, tiny little light, light scratch right there. Might polish off. Walking around, you see tiny little, a couple tiny little things. That's, not, that's nothing. That just, it was just a couple little, tiny little nicks right there. The door overall is very straight. There's no dings in it or anything. The right rear quarter is clean. Their clamshell up top is in excellent shape. The rear trunk, excellent shape. There's no clear coat peeling in this car or anything like that. A couple little minor little things like that. Um, and that's just, I don't know what that is, but um, tiny little scratch right there. Tiny little scratch right there very hard to see and again i'm being picky on the car the car looks amazing if i'm looking at this car i say this car is probably about a nine out of a ten i mean it it's a great looking car um again the rear bumper looks very nice you look under nice and clean corrosion free car the left rear quarter looks nice no dents in it Tiny little scratch here on the door. Um, door looks clean. Side of the car is straight. Might have been a little bit of PDR done right here, but uh, overall, a good a good job. Acceptable. The car looks clean. Left front fender looks clean. And that's pretty much it. The car, um, like I said, I, I think it's probably about a 9 out of a 10. I mean, there's really nothing wrong with the car. Paint-wise, it looks looks nice and clean. Third brake light is clean. There's no cracks in these uh, rear tail lenses. Either side, they're both, both very nice. So, and I'll show you the top as soon as I open that up. Um, like I said, Nitto Extremes all around. And you can see the tread. A lot of tread there. I'd say about 70, 80% there. 
at least and they're not rotten or dried out or anything like that even though the car has low miles 48,000 I mean the car these tires must have been upgraded within the last last year or two I'd say they're clean and that's pretty much the exterior no no uh, cracks in the glass glass is clean um, okay so as far as the interior goes just like the exterior nice and clean um, seats are in great shape on both sides no holes in the leather a little bit of wear from getting in and out but the leather is still nice and pliable here um, in good shape both sides clean got the Boxster S uh, floor mats here and the carpet underneath looks like brand new on both sides all the way around car was never smoked in doesn't smell like um, doesn't have any bad smells to it it's got the, the carbon fiber um, uh, trim all around the car and this is real carbon fiber not a uh, pushy sticker just a, a lot of these carbon fiber kits that you see on eBay and around are basically just stickers but this is actually real carbon fiber this one has come loose on the door handle i could uh, probably glue re-glue that on but that's that's real carbon fiber um, all these there's some wear and tear on the upper door handle on both sides as you can see um, but overall i think it looks nice i'd probably keep it on because you know it's been on for a while and it and it still looks good. It's got the trim kit all the way around the dash, on the gauge around the gauge cluster. As you can see, it's got the pieces here with the airbag emblem on it. So it was a probably a, you know probably a five hundred dollar kit. I'd say nice a nice kit, nice looking kit. Um, let's see. So let's start her up. Um, you can see the climate control works well. Um, all the LEDs are bright. The glow is ice cold. Um, the radio sounds very nice. And um, yeah, it sounds very good. And again, it has Bluetooth, uh, Cirrus XM. It's got compact disc, of course. USB audio right here. It's got auxiliary line in there. Uh, Bluetooth audio, which means you can stream from your phone, which is really nice. So anyway, that's the radio. Um, and like I said, the um, you turn on the tuner, and you can control the uh, equalizer here. This works. You hit the buttons, and you can control the amount of effect and the equalizer and whatnot with that. So um, it's kind of cool. They integrated the uh, factory equalizer in with the new stereo. So I think that's a I think that's a plus. Um, let's see got the speaker speaker system in the back here the speaker box I was speaking of right here it's got the storage in the back of course right there okay the back of the seats is clean are clean trunk area is clean it's got a first aid kit in there probably from a different car but it's all the same band-aids and whatnot so the trunk is clean it's got the tool kit in here the tool kits down there um, it's got an extra set of floor uh, Porsche floor mats comes with it factory floor mats um, these are just the standard Porsche ones without the logo, and they're in excellent shape. It's got a little hazard kit down there. You've got your jack, your tire iron, and again, you've got the, the tool kit right here. And so the, uh, the struts that hold open the hood are, are pretty weak, so those should be changed out. You can get a set on eBay for 30 bucks. So let's take a ride here. Oh yeah, convertible top, put 
that up. The button. Okay, so the top comes right up. Powers up and down, no problem. And I haven't latched it, so it's not as tight as it will be in a second, but you can see the material is in excellent shape. Um, really great shape. It, it goes right in the, the little um, channel right here. It's not popping out of the side, which is a problem that you got to address if it has that problem, but it does not. And you can see the glass window is uh, fastened to, the, to this top, and that's an upgrade for sure, as I mentioned. Okay. Tighten that up. Um, both power windows work, no problem. This one goes up and down as well. And uh, when you get out in and out of the car, you hit the door handle, it comes down and goes up as it should. And it doesn't hang up on the, on the, the uh, convertible top like a lot of them do. Okay, so drive, driving wise, the car starts, runs, and drives great. Um, all the readiness monitors are set throughout the car. There's no um, warning lights or check engine lights on the car. You turn the heater down here. Okay, so the heater works. Like I said, the air conditioning works. All the headlights work. All the driving lights. It's got a current oil change on it here, just done. And um, overall, a nice car. You can see the door panels are clean. Dash is clean, looks very nice. As I said, you know, the steering wheel is clean. It's got two keys. The, key, the security system works. Um, works no problem. Locks, unlocks, everything else. Um, let's see. What else? Got the carbon fiber on the shifter as well. Looks great. Transmission shifts smooth. No hard shifts. No long shifts. Drives nice in the freeway. Smooth in the freeway. There's no uh, noise from the rear end or anything coming from the rear end. Um, you know, when you're on the freeway, a lot of these cars, you know, make a whine from the uh, rear end or the transmission. But um, nice and smooth driving car. Drives very well. Uh, yeah, so like I said, Tiptronic on the steering wheel. I think that's about it. It's a nice car. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call, and I'll do what I can to answer the questions. But um, that's all. And uh, I, think I showed everything. So if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Thank you very much. Bye.